Hey guys, so have you guys heard about DoorDash drivers renting out their account? Yes, this is happening. A couple of you guys had left me a comment about this and I hadn't heard about this before, but I'm not surprised at all. So of course I had to look into it, looked into it and this is what I found. There was a couple people giving their prices. Some of them just said, hey, message me. Uh, this is one that I found uh, in New York. It says DoorDash delivery driver account for rent. I'm renting my DoorDash account for someone who lives in New York. Message me. DoorDash account for rent, $50 weekly plus 3% of earning. So let me know what you guys think about this. Have you guys heard about this? My initial thought when I seen this is that the person that's renting out their account is going to end up getting the 1099 to pay taxes on the amount that's earned for whoever they rent their account to and they're gonna have to pay taxes on it. Now, of course, they could avoid it, but then you're messing with the IRS. You don't even wanna go down that road. Um, but this is very, very interesting, and I'm sure you know other gig apps, people are renting those out as well. Um, and I do not recommend this at all. Um, one, this can get you deactivated. You know, It could cause problems down the road come tax time when you get the 1099 for this other person's earnings. Um, but this was very interesting, but I guess it's a way for people to make some money when they're not using their accounts. Um, but another issue that this could present is, let's say I rented out my account, which again, I would never do this, do not recommend it at all, and I rented it to John. Well, John's going to deliver a customer's order under my name, Bree, and sometimes you hear customers saying, you know, they're expecting Bree, and they ended up up getting some guy delivering their food and maybe that's what's happening as well um, but this is really interesting again it can get you deactivated and you having to pay taxes on somebody else's money so definitely not recommending this at all but found it very interesting again not surprised on this at all but let me know your guys' thoughts I'm gonna go ahead and get the apps turned on and see what the first offer is we can line up all right guys it is Tuesday and as I've mentioned before Tuesday and Wednesdays are not my ideal days to come out here but once in a while you come out and you'll be surprised well we're out here tonight by the way you can probably tell him in the passenger seat husband is driving um, so it has been nothing but a really bad offers coming in um, mostly from Uber Eats I haven't even heard from DoorDash or Grubhub uh, so I'll save you on uh, most of the offers that I've declined but here's just a few to give some of you guys an idea eight dollars of 47 cents sounds all right but not for 16.1 miles that's an absolute no and that is a backwards offer uh, spark came in and they kept coming in with some offers from Sherwood which is like 30 35 minutes uh, depending on traffic maybe even longer uh, so that's just too far away. I'm not gonna go out there. And we've driven by our Walmart that's within the area and there's nobody there. So that kind of gives you an idea of possibly how slow of a night it's gonna be. Uh, $3.02 two cents for 5.3 miles. Low paying offer, higher miles, backwards offer. Another one, $8.41 for 15 miles. And you know what? That almost looks like the same offer that I got. Originally $8.47, and they lowered it by a few cents in the miles because, you know, we're driving or whatnot. Um, went down a little bit. So that looks to be, I'm looking at the offer. It is the same offer. They brought it back to me. That's just ridiculous. Um, anyways, decline, decline, decline finally got something we did our usual loop you know around where all the restaurants are got something reasonable to take at least to, you know hopefully the offers will start coming in some reasonable ones six dollars 26 cents for 3.7 miles for don Cholitos. we are here right now we're going to go in there and get this order and hopefully keep the wheels to moving tonight but time will tell we're heading in For John P with Uber Eats. Awesome. And then I want. And you come. 
Thank you. All right, got the order. It was a less than a minute wait. Um, when I went and checked on my order, I guess they were on the headset. And sometimes they are taking orders in the drive-through. Well, this is a Mexican restaurant. My customer got fries because I always take a peek at the order to see if there's any drinks and stuff like that. And I seen them making fries over there, so I figured it was probably my customer's order. So like less than a minute wait. Um, so we are on our way. Eight minutes, and 2.7 miles. It is an apartment. They left some instructions, which is always greatly appreciated. We're on our way all right guys we are going on an adventure i'm at the right building it's just finding the unit number and uh it's a pain because it's not noted on the outside of the building and it's cold out here i'm sure these stairs will warm me up let's see you're double crossing our fingers it's somewhere over here Ah, we found it, yay. All right, guys, one of my least favorite apartment complexes now, granted the GPS took us right to the building, but like I had mentioned, there's no indication on the outside of which direction or what part of the building the apartment's on. Some apartment complexes have that. This one does not. I always have to go on a search. Uh, went up the staircase. They did say they're on the third floor. I found it, thankfully. Um, it's dropped off, but the good news is, is I got myself a reasonable offer. $10.49 for 3.6 miles. This offer came in when we were heading it to the customer. Um, so it looks like, you know, it might not be too bad of a night. So we're going to go in there. We're here right now and uh, hopefully the pizza is ready. Hi. Hi. Uh, picking up for Blake H with Uber Eats. Uh, can you grab that tea over there? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. You too. All right, order was ready. Customer wanted a two liter. Got the two liter. We are on our way. Nine minutes, three miles, and it's a house. So that was a smooth drop off. Houses are always the best to drop off at. Apartments, some of them I should say, can be a pain. And Uber Eats is ringing in. I was gonna go over the bad offer that I got when I was getting out of the car. Here's another one, $8.08, .08, 8 Point three miles they're coming in again guys uh, so I'm getting out of the car you know to drop off the guy's pizza and the offer that I get is for two dollars and 19 cents for 2.6 miles just a ridiculous offer get back in the car and then this is what I get two dollars 56 cents for four miles what is up with these two dollar and some change orders just ridiculous not worth taking um so we're heading back to where all of the restaurants are hopefully we can line something else up and like i said there's uber eats again let me see what it is nine dollars seven cents for 6.6 .6 miles for two pickups and it's Wingstop. My experience with Wingstop, <laughs> as some of you guys already know, there is a wait that isn't even worth it. That is a decline for me. I'm gonna hold out for something reasonable. Um, something has to come in. We're, we're gonna drive past the restaurants. I'll touch base with you guys once I get something lined up. All right, guys, didn't take any time to line up the next offer. A good one, too. Literally two minutes after I got done talking to you guys, I got a good one. $19.13. Now, it is two pickups for 7.5 miles. Now, let me see if it's at the same restaurant. I love it when the two pickups are at the same restaurant. It just makes it, like, straightforward and easy. 
and it's not second pickup is at cafe yum um, any of you new drivers that you know are curious to see if you get like two orders where your second pickup is there is uh, three lines in the bottom left hand corner you can tap on that it'll pull up the screen and it'll show you where your pickups are and then it'll show the customers names for your drop off so that's how you tell but we are heading to the Italian restaurant first and uh, we'll get this order but that's a good one so you know Tuesday isn't turning out to be too bad at first you know it's always like uh, should I have even came out you just never know though you just never know but let's go get these orders Let me go check on the other Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, customer spaghetti dinner was ready. Doesn't that sound good? I was telling my husband it sounds absolutely good. It's a cold night, some spaghetti, a movie, a fire would be like perfect. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go get this customer their food, but we gotta stop by Cafe Yum and get the second customer's order and uh, we'll go get them dropped off. Yes, I am. Uh, Raymond H. Uber Eats. Cool. Awesome. And the drinks. Thank you. All right, guys, we are on a roll. Order was ready. The husband also loves Cafe Yum's oatmeal cookies, so grabbed him an oatmeal cookie. So we're gonna go get the Italian food dropped off first. Four minutes, two miles. Customer did leave a note to leave on the green bench. Yes, green bench next to door. Um, so we'll be looking for a green bench. Hopefully it's there. You know, sometimes customers leave old notes and then you're looking for the green bench and you don't see it. Then you're wondering, am I even at the right place? Um, you Usually, you know, the notes are up to date, but once in a while, I'll throw you off. So we're going to go get this order dropped off. First order's dropped off. Green bench was there. Um, next drop off is four minutes, 1.9 miles. Another house, another leave it door. We're on our way. guys <laughs> I just received a phone call from a customer now granted the last drop-off went smooth the customer got their order easy drop-off so we're leaving from my last customer the cafe yums drop-off and I get a call and I answer it and it's this very nice lady on the phone from the Italian restaurants order the customer and she's telling me that she got her order but she's missing her pesto salad that she had ordered and paid for and I'm like oh my gosh you know that's the only bag that they had handed me and I have it on recording too well get this the customer before she called me called the restaurant and the restaurant told her to call me that it's on me and i'm like you know apologizing i'm like that's super frustrating you know but that's the only bag that they handed me i can't even believe that they put it off on me the driver when clearly the salad or the pesto salad is sitting there somewhere and they didn't put it in the bag so you know again i apologize to her I know how frustrating that can be, especially, you know, when you're expecting your full meal. Um, told her to reach out to Uber Eats and that they would get her refunded for the missing meal, but you just feel bad because, one, I did, I, I delivered what was given to me, and then <laughs> the restaurant, she calls the restaurant to try to get it taken care of, and they put it off on me, which... I can't even believe that because the pesto salad is obviously sitting there. They didn't give me any other bags. The bag was stapled shut. So very, very interesting. Have you guys ever had this happen where, you know, the customers reached out to the restaurant and then the restaurant puts it off on you and they just handed you one bag. There was nothing else. Absolutely cannot believe that. This is the first time the restaurant has put it off on the driver. 
uh, not very happy about that, but the lady was really, really, really nice about it. She said she's gonna reach out to Uber Eats, and you know, I apologized again because you feel bad. Uh, but anyways, the night for a Tuesday night, you know, surprisingly it hasn't been bad at all you know started off rough and it can do that sometimes for all of us and then you know you finally get an offer to get your wheels to moving and then you get some reasonable offers now granted DoorDash I didn't really hear from I got one offer but I had already I was already on an order so there's nothing that I could do about it um, and it was a reasonable offer uh, Spark was trying to send me into another city that's just too far out um, so Uber Eats was was bringing in the offers for me tonight keeping me busy but I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here so much appreciate you guys always riding along with me and of course if you did enjoy the ride along do give the video a like subscribing if you haven't already and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one bye guys